What? Nailing daily? I wasn't expecting that. Well, I guess we gotta do it then. <laughs> Intel's Core X series processors were only just officially announced, but looks like an intrepid overclocker has already got their hands on them. The overclocker known as Elmore was able to get the 10-core i9-7900X up to 5.7 gigahertz from its base clock speed of 3.3. This allowed him to break the current Cinebench world record, scoring 3,181 points. Of course, the OC was accomplished using liquid nitrogen, but it's impressive as an indication of these new chips' power nonetheless. A leaked benchmark has shown the $1,000 7900X outperforming the $1,500 i7-6950X, so even if AMD's Threadripper CPUs end up being a bust, which if Ryzen is any indication, probably won't be the case, at least AMD has given the market a much-needed shakeup. What do you guys think? Will Intel's Core X-Series steal the spotlight away from AMD? <laughs> That's, I forgot the company's name for a second. Leave a comment. Over to console news now, where Nintendo continues to confuse us concerning what year it thinks it's living in. The company had already revealed that voice chat for the Switch would require a phone app to work, but this... just look. Game peripheral maker Hori has shared images of their Splatoon-themed headset, which will apparently require a splitter device, which will connect to both your Switch and your phone. And the cables are less than 20 inches long. So... Guess no voice chat when it's docked? Yeah, cool, all right, that makes sense. What actually does make sense is Nintendo's newly released details about their online service. Starting in 2018, 20 bucks will get you online play for a year and full access to a library of classic Nintendo titles. Okay, Nintendo, that's great, but like, Try playing an Xbox or PS4 sometime, see how their chat works and stuff. You might learn something. And also starting in 2018, Google will add an ad blocking feature to its Chrome browser. The company announced its intention to do so earlier this year, but now we're getting more details. Google actually refers to the upcoming feature as an ad filter, as it won't block all ads, just the ones it deems unacceptable, such as pop-ups, auto-playing videos, and countdown ads that delay the display of content. Chrome is by far the most popular web browser with 50% market share, so the addition of a built-in ad blocker would have a huge effect on the online ads market. That's why the company is discussing its plans with publishers so they can remove unacceptable ads from their websites. Allow me to insert a bit of editorial here. I think this is a great move. The openness and freedom of the internet depend on companies being able to make money through it. Rather than using a blunt force hammer to block all ads, constraining the type of ads that are allowed on the internet to ones that are acceptable and not super annoying will allow companies and content creators to continue operating and making the internet a nice place. Whoa, that was a little too sincere. It's getting too serious. Uh, uh, Barrett, put an explosion here. It's time for... It's a bit hard to make out, but, uh... Central Pack. Quick bits. Sir, you have combined two of my great loves in a single video, and for that, I return unto you a Central Pack. Thank you, Damasis Kadesh. If the rest of you want to submit a Quick Bits clip, do it on Twitter. Rhyme, a sick-looking PC game inspired by Zelda and Ico, has had its Denuvo DRM cracked by pirates, so its developer, Greybox, will be releasing a DRM-free version of the game, just like they promised. It seems like DRM is more and more useless these days. Just like this gate. Moving on. One of the many announcements at Computex was the Aorus GTX 1070 gaming box, which includes a GTX 1070 and goes for $599. Looks like external GPUs are getting slightly more affordable, and that's good. Essential, Andy Rubin's company that just unveiled a new smartphone, also filed a patent for smart glasses. Will they be essential? Only time will tell. Windows 10 insiders got a somewhat nasty surprise recently. Two released builds that caused many issues, including making PCs get stuck in a boot loop. Just goes to show, let other people deal with broken things first. Then you don't have to. And oh, great, Japanese researchers have developed a set of artificial arms that you can control with your legs, and some supervillain is watching this right now with great interest. Great job, Japan. You've sealed humanity's doom. Sources for all of today's news stories can be found in the NCIX forum post linked in the description. NCIX Yo Dog, more like NCIX Yo Doge. <laughs> That's pretty good. Thanks for your submission. Send us an NCIX Yo Dog of your very own, and life will be better for you. That's a promise. Hey, this week is NCIX's Slam Dunk Clearance event with savings up to 45%. Because I don't know about you, but computer nerds love sports. I love sports. Guys, sports over there? Into sports? Sports!
Yeah, there it is. Love it. The Canadian deal is an Asus VG245H 24-inch 1080p monitor with a 1 millisecond refresh rate for $229.99, and the American deal is a Gigabyte GTX 1060 GPU for $227.99. Click here for the details and for all of this week's deals. All right, that's it for Nailing Daily, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Click over here for previous videos. Check us out on Twitter over there. But as always, like the video if you liked it, comment below for fans with benefits, and subscribe for more videos like this from NCIX. I have to go, guys, and I can't explain why, but I have to leave. I have to get out of here.